to be the 2016 Ironman Canada champion? Yeah, you know, um, crossing an Ironman finish line is a huge sense of, like, you have this wellspring of euphoria that just rises up out of you. And to do it faster than everybody else feels really good. Um, I, when this race was put on the calendar, I really wanted to do it. Hadn't ever visited Whistler, um, but I knew the the contours of the course would suit my skills. And um, yeah, I, I'm very pleased with my effort and uh, super happy to come away with uh, a victory. For sure. How surprised were you to just pull clear of those guys so early on? And how did that affect your mindset for the day? Um, so more on the mindset, um, when you are kind of con dictating the pace and the tem tempo and, and like really putting pressure on the people behind you, it, it's, it's very empowering, right? And it gives you, it, it's a huge boost of confidence. So like I just kind of had that build, I let it build within me and um, I just tried to take advantage of as much as possible. Mentally, I thought every pedal stroke I'm gaining time and that was like, I just keep keep riding, keep keep the pressure on the pedals, and um, it, it's it was really um, reassuring to get time splits that were, you know, every time it was like gaining a little bit more time, a little bit more time, and I was like, okay, we're we're doing what we came here to do, and and that's put uh, people uh, on the defensive, and you know, execute my plan, and then if they become reactionary my competition and, and that's always harder to deal with as opposed to being proactive so I, I had the upper hand because I could be proactive and um, so that, that's a uh, it's a good it's a it's a good tactic to, to own for sure. What's next for you? We do Ironman Timmerman in four weeks sorry Timmerman 7.3 um, and uh, so that's four weeks. Hopefully I can recover quickly from this and then go back and put some solid work in. Um, but we'll see how this week goes. Uh, coming off an Ironman, it's usually like you got some issues and you gotta be smart about your recovery. Um, and then it'll be seven weeks till Hawaii after Timberman. So right now we've got, what is it? Uh, 11 weeks to Kona. And how are you feeling going into Kona? Uh, you know, today I needed today. I needed to cross the finish line today to validate and earn my earn my spot in, in Kona, and I did that. And so that's a, a huge weight off my shoulders, and um, I'm real happy with what we're doing in my training to prepare for an Ironman race. And uh, the goal is to improve on last year for sure. So um, I've got good confidence, but. It's the world's best show up with the goods, so we'll see. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.